the most historic building uh, for Clarkson and perhaps even in the North Country, and that is Old Main. Uh, it's a beautiful sandstone feature, a landmark building, uh, historic, and uh, we're very pleased today to announce that it will undergo a full restoration. Uh, it will become the home of the Beacon Institute for Rivers and Estuaries. Uh, that's a fully owned subsidiary of Clarkson. That facility will actually uh, take over the first floor of the renovated Old Main, and it connects and reaches across to the west wing of Old Main that will be, in partnership with IBM, a green data center. A very exciting uh, opportunity that we actually will make available to the broader community uh, if they wanted to co-locate their activities, their data centers uh, in, in our west wing. That would also be a possibility as we rededicate this building in hopefully about a year's time and move to the third floor. I think that that will be a a complete circle for Clarkson to have accomplished. We began in Old Main, uh, getting back to where many of our generations of our students were taught, where there, it was the largest room on campus for lectures. It was where many of the, everything from graduation ceremonies to dances on a Friday night were held. Uh, and so when we get back to that room, we're tentatively identifying it perhaps as a boardroom. Uh, and so maybe our trustees will meet there. Many of them, of course, graduated uh, from the downtown campus, uh, and so it would be, I would predict, a, a very emotional return to Old Main in about a year's time uh, when we get back to fully utilize the renovated Old Main. The rail project, the uh, regional arts and interactive learning uh, project, would take the first two floors of Snell Hall, uh, and it's a, 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 a partnership between the St. Lawrence Arts Council that already occupies a lot of the second floor. The emphasis uh, with them, by the way, is again economic development. How do we take artisans and help support them through our Shipley Center for Innovation, the Ray Center uh, for Entrepreneurship? How do we help them grow their businesses? So that's one component. The second is the Children's Museum. One of their missions would be able to attract and inspire K through 12 students, kindergarten through 12th grade students, into fields which we know this world needs uh, more people active in, uh, the, the STEAM fields. Uh, we're looking at developing Clarkson Hall uh, for some future, uh, an occupational therapy program, uh, which would also spill over into the old liberal studies building. Uh, with an increase of all these graduate students in our downtown corridor, uh, it's triggering uh, the need for possibly some housing for our students. Uh, so we're also looking to private developers, uh, maybe to take over Congdon Hall and develop that into some higher end apartments uh, to satisfy the need that those students would have while they're down here. But currently, Clarkson pays uh, almost $200,000 per year in local taxes. So. Uh, we expect if, if, if Congdon Hall and the top two floors of the Snell building do form an apartment complex, then that would also be a, gen a tax generating uh, activity for the village. So everybody wins with this scenario. I, I want to stress the extent to which Clarkson understands the need to invest in and bring the village back to life to the extent possible.